In this section, we'll review the content management template. But before we do that, let's talk a little bit about your hierarchy and how it should be set up. You want to use a space for your department or team. Spaces are the highest level in the hierarchy, and so you'll want to keep your highest level initiatives or teams at this level. By keeping your team or department at the space level, you'll ensure that you have the ability to deliver on your projects in the way that best meets your team's own way of working. Next, let's go ahead and open up one of my teams or one of my spaces. And here I can see some of the different initiatives or projects that our teams work on. You'll notice that these projects are all in folders and that we also have a list here. Lists are great for simple projects or if you're trying to keep track at a higher level of your projects, you can use a list for that as well. Folders, on the other hand, are much better for complex projects or projects that happen in multiple phases. And you'll notice that all of these marketing templates that we're using in these training videos are actually in folders. You can see that I have already applied a number of marketing templates here. Let's go ahead and click on the content management template to take a look. When you click on the content management template, you should be taken to the pinned welcome doc at the top here. This doc is really just going to call out where to find the template guide. And so that's where we're going to go next. The template guide can be found as the first list within the content management folder. When I click on the template guide, you can see that it's broken into three sections. What's included, setup, and resources. Let's start by taking a look at what's included. We spoke about the hierarchy of your workspace, and here you're actually going to get an overview of the template hierarchy. The template is entirely contained within this single folder called Content Management. As mentioned previously, folders are great for multifaceted projects or projects that occur in phases. Next, we'll see all of the lists that are included in this template. So there are three lists in this template, the template guide, incoming requests, and then a number of lists for each content type. The template guide is what we're covering now. And so that's going to give you a breakdown of everything that's included in the template. The incoming request list is where all of your new requests will land once they've been submitted through the request form, which we'll cover in just a moment. And then finally, we've got a list for each content type here, website, blog, social, and email. This way, you'll be able to manage each content type separately as you need to. You will also have the ability to get a higher level view and see across all of the different content types at the same time. Scrolling down, you can see that views are also called out. Views are the secret sauce in ClickUp that allows you to see the exact information you need to see in the way that you need to see it. This template actually includes a ton of views that will be really helpful to you in reviewing your work. There's list views, form views, board views, calendar views. And down here, you can see that Gantt views and timeline views are also called out. We'll take some time reviewing the views when we cover the workflow. But one thing I did want to call out is the importance of the calendar view as a best practice for this particular template or a best practice for content management. Calendar views are relatively straightforward in that with a calendar view, what you'll be looking at, if I give you an example here, is all of your tasks displayed on a calendar. So you'll be able to see the schedule of your tasks. And across each level of this template, you'll actually notice that a calendar view has been provided. This is going to give you a high level overview of your team's content strategy and publishing schedule. But again, we'll talk about that in more detail in just a moment. Let's jump back to the template guide and go back to what's included. And let's head down to the next section which is our custom fields. Custom fields are all of the points of context that you add to your tasks. Custom fields are similar to data points, except many of the custom fields come with added functionality in ClickUp. Just like the views, you can see that this template already has the custom fields preloaded for you. Also, just like the views, we'll take some time reviewing the custom fields when we cover the workflow. Moving down, you can see that there are also a couple of docs that are called out here meeting minutes and team docs. If I jump over to the meeting minutes doc here, you'll see that two techniques for capturing meeting minutes are provided here. Sessions lasting more than 30 minutes 
have separate subpages allowing for detailed notes and easy navigation. Quick updates can be captured as sections on the same page for shorter meetings and stand-ups. Taking a look at our team docs, here, marketing teams can create content specific to their teams. Docs can be used to capture various marketing documentation, such as marketing processes, briefs, and more. Quick call out, if you're looking for an example content process for SEO, all I need to do is click on the SEO content brief here. That process is already outlined for you. Before moving to the next section, what I'd recommend is taking a moment to review what's included in the template guide. Again, we're gonna go through these things in more detail as we get through the workflow section, but just to help yourself in getting more accustomed or more familiar with what's included in the template itself, you may wanna review this section. One other thing I wanna call out, if you're looking for more detailed instructions or hands-on activities that actually walk you through all of the different sections of this template, there's also a hands-on version of this course that will be linked below.